Hi LEGO fans, it's giveaway time at the LEGO store and this time they're actually giving away something we want. This is set number 40251, Piggy Bank with 248 pieces. And we're gonna do an unboxing, speed build and review. As is usually the case, this set is free if you spend more than a certain amount at the LEGO store or at shop.lego.com. And this time it seems that the offer is pretty much global. The minimum spend varies by country. Here in the USA, the minimum spend is $75, as it is in Canada. Over in Europe, the minimum spend is 55 euros, and in the United Kingdom, it's 50 pounds. This is a far cry from last month's giveaway when LEGO were giving us a free bag for spending $200. <laughs> Notwithstanding that we have to spend a lot of money at the Lego store to get this, it is actually a great value giveaway. This set contains more pieces than some of the Lego City sets that are coming in for $30 or $40. So what we're actually getting here is a piggy bank. Yes, Lego know we have to save up our pennies in order to be able to afford their products. So they're conveniently giving us something to drop those pennies into. And this is a three-in-one set. We have this main container and it has three faces, one for the pig, one for a panda, and the other one I think is a polar bear. I think this is a pretty cute little guy, although one of my kids did describe it as an abomination. Before we rip this open, let's flip it over and take a look at the back of the box. Okay, so there's not a lot to see here, but you can see some cute close-ups of the polar bear and the panda and the pig. This is one of those easy to get into boxes with the punchy tab, so we'll rip that open and see what we've got inside. Cool, so it looks like we're getting three bags of Lego and this sticker sheet which was left inside the box. Now this is really interesting. If you look inside this first bag with the, uh, the most amount of Lego, we're actually getting a brick separator. And usually you won't get one of these unless the set is a very special set or it's over that $100 price mark. So uh, it's really unusual to see a brick separator in a free giveaway. And we certainly have a lot of pieces of Lego here, especially given that it's a free giveaway. The instruction booklet is pretty thin, uh, but has a fair number of steps in it. So I think this is gonna take us a, a few minutes at least to put together. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this built and we're gonna do a 25 second speed build. And here's a completed piggy bank and he is great fun with his googly eyes and his little face that spins around for some reason. And we also get a large pile of leftover bricks which kind of explains why we get this brick separator. We'll come back to that in just a moment but first let's take a look at the piggy bank. He stands about three and a half to four inches tall and I put a little classic Lego spaceman in there so you could appreciate the scale. The coin capacity isn't exactly capacious, but you can get quite a number of quarters in there. So it's a nice little thing. The coin slot is pretty wide, so I can't imagine you're gonna have problems with any coins from anywhere around the world. Although that might make it easy for people to shake the coins back out of the slot. But if you're concerned about keeping your money safe, this is probably not the place to put it anyhow. The main color of the pig is white, which is definitely not one of the most common pig colors but I suppose that's gonna help us out when we come to make the polar bear and possibly even the panda. And at the back, we have yet another panel with this cute tail sticking out. When you fancy a change of character, we can simply remove these side panels like so, which is a little bit fiddly, but it works. And we can also remove the tail section here and we end up with a box in the middle, which is effectively where the coins sit. We can also remove this face piece here and we can take the ears off just like so and that's effectively how we would get to the coins as you can see we can now shake the coins out if you can hear me uh, so that takes us back to our main core box and this is where we have to go back to in order to reconfigure the money box for the polar bear and for the panda so let's go ahead and transform him into the polar bear
And here's our completed polar bear, or almost, because I actually missed a piece when I was building him before, so let's put that on. And that looks a lot better. He was definitely missing something. Making the polar bear next was definitely the smart decision because a lot of these parts are exactly the same as for the pig. Whereas the panda is going to have a lot of black and white stripes on him, so that's going to be much more of a reconfiguration. Overall, it's a pretty cute build, but I don't think I like it quite as much as the pig. A little pro tip for when you build these models, remember that the eyes are round elements that can only be put onto the animal in four different orientations. So if you stick the stickers on before you apply the eyes to the model, it's possible you might not be able to get the eyes to align quite right. In fact, I had to take off one of the stickers and reapply it afterwards, and I've still not got it quite there, but it makes him look a little bit goofy, which is cool. From the side, you can see he's got exactly the same side panels on as the pig, but he does have different claws. And it's good that LEGO have applied sliders to the bottom to stop it scratching any surfaces and also to help hold the claws together. The back panel is almost the same as the pig, except we've removed the tail piece and we've replaced it with one of these white domes. So the polar bear's pretty cool. You want to see the panda? Sure you do. And here's our panda. He's definitely a more satisfying build than the polar bear. And I think it really helps that he really pops out against this white background. So the main things that changed were firstly the face. We had to swap out the eyes and the nose here. And we've got these little pink cheeks and of course the ears. Then at the bottom, we just had to swap out the black stumps there. Those were previously white. Uh, obviously at the top and at the sides we have these black and white stripes which we didn't have on the polar bear. But the nice thing was, the first thing I went to work on was the tail and the, uh, the backside area and that is exactly the same as the polar bear. So the ultimate question is which one of the three is my favourite? Well I really like the panda but I know my wife's a big fan of pigs so I think I better do the right thing and convert it back into the pig. But you be sure to let us know down in the comments below which one of the three you like best. So finally we go full circle and our little piggy bank is ready for display. One last pro tip, if you're not planning to put coins in the piggy bank, you could lift the top off and put the remaining loose pieces inside. And then you'll be able to change it into whichever animal you want whenever you like. On behalf of the pig and I, I do hope you enjoyed this unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. We release two new videos every week, so there's always something new on the channel. Thanks for joining us today, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next build video.